after banging is ruining park skiing and this epidemic has to stop guys. Trust me, I know a few things about after bang. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comments below, but we're gonna get into this. I personally, I'm, I'm over it. Style and skiing is super, super important and how you ride out of tricks can make or break the way things look. For those of you guys who don't know, after bang is a common term used for describing or portraying the amount of effort or lack of effort that you show when you're landing your tricks, whether it's out of rails or on jumps. Whether you're just swerving, doing 360s on the ground and after banging the hell out of it, this does happen. This does happen, guys, trust me. And if we want to throw back to the golden era of park skiing, after banging was a huge part of it, but it looks a little different back then than it does now, trust me. I'm gonna break after banging down into three different types of after bang just to make this video a little bit easier to understand. Number one style of after bang we're gonna call effortless and this is the Tom Wallace landings. Absolutely picture perfect. The guy is a brick, he's a brick shit ass. He's just stuck in one position exactly the way you hit the snow. Second version of after bang. This one tends to be a little bit more the style that I kind of portray when I ride and also some of the older riders back in the day, it's aggressive after bang, aggressive style. Whether it's just cause you're going big in the future, landing deep or doing a huge trick. Unlike Tom Wallace, you're not holding back displaying the amount of impact that's actually being absorbed when you land these tricks. And then we have number three guys. Number three is the new era of after bang, the TikTok hash plug after bang. I don't necessarily want to call it the fent after bang, but it pretty much is. In this form of after bang, you're pretty much letting your body go as limp as a noodle and just going with the ride. Whatever happens, happens. If my arm ends up whipping all the way around, back around, twisting up into a little noodle, that's what happens. And I'm just gonna roll with it. After begging has got so important or controversial, however you wanna say it, but there's entire Instagram pages dedicated to exposing people who are after banging maybe a little too hard. Now I'm not trying to put anyone on blast here. I just have my own personal preferences on what after bang or skiing should look like. And everybody else has their own opinions as well. I personally like the Tom Mullish effortless style or more of an aggressive landing style better than the new TikTok plug Fent era of after banging, but that's just me personally. In my personal opinion, it looks almost unrealistic when you land like Tom Mullish, like super sick, but it's like, what, did you even leave the ground? That could be cool. But when I personally ski, it's like, A, it's hard to replicate that, like super hard to replicate that. But I also want to demonstrate the actual power of the trick. I also just like doing bigger, high speed, more impact tricks where it's just really hard to make it look like you didn't land at all. Like if you hit this rail and drop like six feet to flat and your knees are locked out trying to make it look like you didn't have any effort at all, you're probably just gonna blow your knees. It's a possibility. With that being said, I'm gonna light up a little montage and you guys can let me know down below which one in this little video segment was the worst. And uh, I'd love to hear your comments down below. What the hell? I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed those after bangs and be careful because if you after bang too much, deuces.